Hi, my peeps. What's up, Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl, Tia Nine in the house. Yes, guys. Now we're going to make some Christmas saril fruit cake. All right. Yeah. Our rum cake, wine cake. We're going to make some saril cake for Christmas. Okay. All right, guys. Please remember to leave me a little bit of like and subscribe for other amazing content. All right, guys. Now let's get into this video. This one gonna be quick and fast, all right? No lele around here, all right, guys? So here we have one cup of flour. I'm gonna do cup and quarter, okay? So this one is quarter, all right? So cup and quarter of flour. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this baking powder. Two. We're gonna go in with one teaspoon cinnamon powder. One teaspoon nutmeg. Okay. I'm gonna go in with about half teaspoon of salt. You can use one, and that's it for the dry ingredients. So we add with nutmeg, with cinnamon, all right, with salt, baking powder, and flour. Okay. You're gonna go ahead and sieve this nicely. We're gonna put this aside. I've been soaking this in some saril juice and some over here. I put some red label in it, and I also put a tablespoon of rum. All right, it's some saril juice and it's some raisins and some cherries. All right, and we're gonna blend it. We're gonna blend it. Okay. Just puree this other. All right. Look at that, guys. It smells amazing. Mm. And I know you must be wondering, where's the saril? Where you wanna say I'm gonna make cake with? All right. I will leave a link. This is my saril jam or my saril syrup. All right, it look more like a jam now, <laughs> but it's like saril syrup, okay guys? Because I put sea moss in there and it get thick up, okay? In a bowl, I'm gonna do three eggs, all right? Oops. All right guys, I'm gonna take out the whites, the chalaza out of it because I, I think that what makes the cake raw with this recipe you go ahead and preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit I have about one stick of butter unsalted and I'm gonna go in with three quarter cup of brown sugar you can use a cup all right I have a little bit of zest lemon zest you need about a tablespoon and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice tablespoon will do just give this a little mix prevent the egg from being raw okay oops and we're gonna set that aside so everything ready um you can put the butter in the microwave or you can take it out for a few hours at room temperature all right we're gonna cream this a little bit Alright guys, you see your cream up on nice because I have my butter at room temperature. You can make it a little bit in the microwave. Look on that. Cream up on really nice. Now, I just cream this for about 2 minutes. You can cream it up to 3, 4. Now oh, guys, we're going to add the eggs gradually. Alright? I remember we zest it up already.
all right guys don't over mix it soon as everything cream up like that and fluffy we're gonna add all the wet ingredients a cup so we're just gonna measure it for the video purpose yes <laughs> so guys this give me almost a cup so basically almost a cup i have here maybe if me wipe out everything so you need a cup guys knock out everything and you get a cup right don't waste nothing so oh smells oh rum and wine okay we're gonna add this oh my goodness it smells so good oh and it's really nice oh all right and this is very strong okay guys look at that you can't call it cereal jam cereal syrup all right that's two tablespoons we're not over it let's put four tablespoons guys and that's it because you don't want it to be bitterish all right some people make the puree but you can do the jam or the syrup okay just the same you don't have to follow fashion guys do your own trend set your own trend at your own pace at your own time all right mm -hmm. now we're gonna go in with some vanilla because we don't want to over mix the thing you know that's why we are try add everything all at once i'm gonna go in with two teaspoon all right one teaspoon almond you can measure it guys yeah. That one right so this is almond extract rose water we are going with a little bit like half teaspoon you can even quarter if you want and I add some red food coloring to make it look red all right I'm gonna go in with some drops just add to your liking all right you can add more or less if you want the red 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 add more add to your liking all right oh my goodness oh, heaven here guys heaven all right so what you're gonna do look at this guys Let's go ahead and fold it in see it don't overdo it oh my goodness Like that mm. Mm. I'm just gonna tip like a cock full maybe two cock full of rum for um two cock full of red label for the road okay yes that's it we're gonna start to add the flour we're gonna do it in two portion can you see that guys just don't over mix it take your time and fold it in that's it done and this is for one cake okay and that's it guys you don't want nothing more than that you see yeah and we're gonna bake this bad boy don't over mix it leave it at that you see it look nice I have this seven inch and it's a little bit deep so we're gonna see how far it can go the recipe calls for a good nine inch baking pan with tall a little bit nice I'm gonna put a, a little bit of olive oil grease the side remember to grease the side all right you can just dust some flour in it and it's all good but I'm gonna put some grease proof paper see how fluffy and nice guys if you're mixing it whoopsie and then just come on over here and you're gonna scrape it all in fluffy and nice fluffy like ice cream guys yeah. i don't want to make mine too watery because it's a fruit cake you know remember so you put fruits in it clean your bowl nicely and I didn't add the cup of um, sugar because the fruit and the syrup already sweet so you can add a cup if you want 
Alright, so just go ahead and level this out. Alright guys, now you're going to tap it. So basically mine is three quarter in the pan. Can you see guys, we're going to pop it in the oven for about say one hour. More or less, I always let you know because my oven, you know, have no time of its own. I'll be back when it's done. So this is it. All right. All done. It has some crack, but don't mind. I put it at 340 and actually it come out really, really good. So go ahead. If you have a normal oven will work right, go ahead and do 350 or you can do 340 as I did. All right. And it come out really good. So. I just insert whatever and you check it it's good all right now instead of add all wine and rum I mix it so I have a little red label wine here some of this and I add some sorrel all right and we're just gonna saturate the cake a little bit not too much yeah it's fairly good If you don't want it too moist, you don't have to um, saturate a lot, all right? Or you can go ahead and juke, juke up a little bit like that. If you juke if you want it, go down in there, you know? And just go ahead and continue to spray. You can saturate it as much as you want, or you can leave it fluffy and nice. It's okay. I think I'm going to leave mine somewhat fluffy. Just going to put a little bit of... All right, we're gonna let this cool down. You can put more or less, it's up to you. All right, I'm gonna leave this to let it cool down and then I'm gonna come back. So basically you just um, cut around the sides. It's cool, but I think it's still warm. Cut out a slice. So soft, make sure you put it right down. This is how it's looking guys yes guys i taste it it's not sweet it's just right for me all right guys super mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh my goodness oh mm. 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 You don't want to put more sweet on this guy, so. Mm. Mm. Full of wine. Oh my goodness. So good. Mm. 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 Amazing. Guys, this is what I leave all tight. Mm. This is what I leave all tight, guys. Me not no lie. We cut peace there, so. For myself, one little piece, my son get one little piece, and my neighbor get half this amount. It's done. That's how I left in my pan. No joke. Done. Soft and moist, eh, guys. It's done. 